All right, the feds have uh, revealed some of the evidence they have against Casanova two times and off. So they deny him uh, bail. Let's talk about how much money he got up for bail in the whole situation. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you check out, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check out music entertainment playlist. And I'm going to like Casanova. So, you know, I don't really want to see him go down. But basically, they got him on Instagram showing a saw rifle. And, you know, New York got some real strict gun laws. But first... They denied him bail, so they must have a real case, or they think he might be a flight risk or a risk to leave. And, you know, somebody told me he got some kind of some roots in Panama, and Panama is not going to cooperate with the government and send Casanova back. So, if you don't know, he part of a RICO racketeering uh, charge conspiracy um, with the United Guerrilla, some blood affiliate gang in New York. And, you know, basically they got some evidence, all right? They got him on the wiretap, which, you know, sound like he on the wiretap. I got 10 guns. I got 10 kilos. They basically talking to other gay members, some now incarcerated, some uh, co-defendants. And they got them you know, on there on the phone saying that Casanova just shot uh, the gun at a poker game. And I guess when he posted on Instagram right around that time, he showed his assault rifle. So my whole thing is, I don't know if you fired a shot. How is that? Um, how is that, you know, evidence? I can see if he shot somebody. And it was a case where they can link the shell to his. But it don't seem like he shot nobody. But apparently they on the phone, not casting over, but talking about how Cash shot off a gun at a poker game. And, you know, I, don't, I guess they don't they don't watch the fall of other great uh, drug traffickers. They wiretap you. We've seen that in the wire. That's a that's a real thing that the, that the feds and the government and police do. They wiretap you. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the old school ways they get you by tapping your phone and really talking reckless on the phone after seeing the 6 9 case. How they were talking reckless on the phone and they pinned that on Shoddy and them. I mean, you, I mean, you don't talking cold no more. Y'all don't just talking person. They on the phone talking reckless. You know, they ain't even talking to pig lad and nothing. They just talking 100% reckless and, and it don't sound like Casanova said nothing. So, I'm just wondering, do they got more evidence? Because this case sound like they can, he can beat it, you know, or he gonna get a gun charge, you know, discharging a fire assault rifle. That ain't really a fair thing. So what do they got to link him to? Whatever the racketeering charges saying they're doing the RICO charges. Is it killing? Is it attempted murder? Is it just a gang charge? I mean, that little bit of evidence. Okay, he showed us assault rifle. How can you link? That assault rifle to him shooting at the thing, even if he posted on, on Instagram after he did it. And then for somebody that been in the penitentiary that many times, for somebody who got that much knowledge and you hear Casanova talk, he don't sound like a bad guy. Why would you post your gun on on social media? Excuse me. That's what I'm asking. Why would he post his, post his gun on social media? If it's at the same time of the, as the shooting, why? Cuz got more sense than that. And it just don't make no sense. You got more sense than that. Why would you do that? On that alone, you 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 deserve to do some time. And then these dudes hanging around New York, leave. Look how they did Bobby Smarter. Y'all just think that's a that's an isolated incident? They got little TJ from the Bronx. Leave that Northeast. Leave New York. If you want to tote the gun, go to Texas. Take some of your New York, your New York homies. Move them to Texas. Move them to Florida. Get out of New York. New York is not about to let, if they wouldn't let the Italians and the mobsters, you know, do what they did, they're not about to let no New Yorkers do that again. That's why they put them black people do that in New York again. That's why they put those gang laws in there. Those mob laws. This is why you had a RICO law, and this is why you got the Rockefeller law. They're not about to let you individuals, you ninjas, get away with that. So I understand I love New York, and get out of here. If you want to tote guns, and, and, and you want to protect yourself, and you you want to have uh, you want to have rights to bear arms? Shit, move to Michigan with me. Open carry. Move to Arizona. Move to Texas. Move to Las Vegas. Move to Florida. In Florida, you don't got no state taxes. Move there. You can open carry all you want. You keep that thing, man. People in Houston carrying assault rifles on them. In New York, the gun laws is too strict. And these, and these dudes just think they can get a get. New York got some of the lowest gun violence in the United States. They they got really low crime. 
You know, because it used to be, it used to go down back in the day. The police was controlled by the mob. So they had to get that together. So with him, he they don't sound like what I read. He talking on the phone. They talking on the phone about him. Boy, he, he went wild and crazy. He let that thing go. Da, 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 da. He hit the poker game. That was cash. Didn't even know cold words. That, that was that was that was ace, you know. They talking talking regular on the phones. And maybe they thinking, well, operation not big enough for the feds to, you know, really care or the feds not really on us. But still, regardless, you don't talk reckless on the phone. Casanova should be, you know, going upside their head if they see themselves in prison. Like, why are you talking on the phone about something that I didn't did? Makes no sense. And we see all these examples how they got Rayful Edmonds, Freeway Ricky Ross, Big Meech recently. All these examples about these brick these traffickers. These gangbangers. All these all these examples. And we still talking on the phone and saying names. We still being reckless. It just don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And they said he got two point five million dollars up for bail. They said no. So they must got more evidence on him. And they going on the internet now. They going on the internet now to mount up evidence. They going to these rappers, raps, mount up evidence. He hit Cassis at the poker game. He ain't playing no games. He put the K to his ear to say, give me the, you know, hey, rapper, come on, man. And then they said they got the Vlad interview. You know, um, Casanova, you said that um, you was a part of the Guerrilla United States gang, okay? So at what point did you have to go rob or, or shoot some person to get into the game? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Vlad, I don't like talking about these things in the interviews, but, you know, you my white brother, and, and um, yeah, man, you know, we went up on 37th, son, and, and, and I told Anthony, get down, get down, get down, you know, I clap because they get to get on there and tell them on each other. Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay, Vlad, okay. So what's your social security number? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just crazy that there's so many examples of people going down. Bobby Smarter using his raps against him. Big Meech doing what he did. The worst thing he'd do was put that billboard up. You know? And these dudes still making mistakes. And we're talking about feds. This is at least, what, five years? So they got to have more than him than discharging the gun. And then that's just somebody saying it online. And I cast another said, Hey man, your, your son, I discharged the gun. Bye, bye, bye. If he's saying it. So to me right now, they case look weak. It just looks like they got a gun charge. Is it illegal gun? I'm not I don't believe he's gonna post an illegal gun. Can you match the gun? Who did the shooting at the poker game? Can you see somebody? Oh yeah, Cass had the Nine times out of ten, the reason the feds got a 97, 98%, percent, 97 or 98% conviction rate is because people snitch. So if somebody can match Casanova with that gun at this alleged shooting, you're probably in trouble. It's a lot of laws you, you, you go to. So if they're getting some of those discharging the firearm and in the, in the closed area, whatever they got, yeah, you might do five or ten. But if they can't get nobody that say he had that gun, he shot it at the scene. It's going to be a weak case. So really, they're going to have to get some people that was there, get some white people to snitch. Because remember, he ain't on the phone saying he shot nothing. It sounded like one of his co-defendants said it. So, you know, unless they got more on the case. But is it really is it really a priority to run down somebody who shot it, who discharged a gun? And it don't sound like nobody got killed or nobody got hit. Is that a priority? Or should it be a priority? You got those white people at the Capitol building. You got white people uh, putting up, you know, devising plans to kidnap government officials. Come on. Don't they got something better else to do? I can see if this dude was being um, um, a drug trafficker in the neighborhood and, you know, he was selling drugs to the kids and he was destroying his neighborhood. Y'all taking y'all time to sit here to get a rapper who may or may not or allegedly discharge a firearm. Who cares? We got people, we got kids going missing. We got kids, we got sex trafficking, you know, all over America and kids going missing. You know what I'm saying? And you taking your federal time 
to, to get a rapper for discharging a gun? We got people, white people talking about kidnapping government officials. You talking about a gun? All this stuff that's going on in this world, and we talking about a, a dude for, for for discharging a gun. Get out of here, man. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, call, response, share, video request. All my social media links in the description. Fast forward to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. You also got Facebook group. You want to reach out to me, chop it up. You want to advertise your business on the channel, video request, whatever it may be. Hit me up. All my links there. You want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJGood313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description as well, too. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time we go.